This video contains strong language and may not be suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. To all you young men out there that have a little money and go to these clubs and different places and you meet these young ladies and then these young ladies immediately jump in bed with you. Give those ladies some money. Because if you pay them sooner, you won't have to pay them later. And believe me, the price is going to be much greater when you have to pay it later. I know how these youngsters are because I was a youngster myself. I wasn't paying nobody nothing. Pay you for what? Let you all be glad that I am having sex with you. So, like you say, you owe me. But as you get older and get caught up, you realize that that shit don't fly. The only reason that woman took Kobe Bryant to court was because Kobe Bryant didn't pay. And it went something like this. What happened to my hundred dollars, Joe? Nigga, did you take my money? <laughs> That's right, little bitch. I took it back. You ain't worth no hundred dollars. I am Joe Blow, the love of man. You should be paying me, bitch. Give me my money, man. Shit. What money? Shit, I get cut like you all day, a dime a dozen, shit. Here, here's two dollars. Go get you some dish powder and keep it clean for me next time. Here's another thing to think about. Why didn't Kobe Bryant just go ahead on and pay her? Because I know that uh, usually when a woman got something that's good, you're going to make sure that you give her something. I mean, that's why a lot of guys rob and steal and give the money to these women because they got what they call that ill nine But to give her nothing must not have been that good. One thing I noticed that the media does is they'll have some white people making some negative statements about blacks. I guess to see what the uh, response will be. And then when there's so much negative response, then they send in a black person to regurgitate those same sentiments. And then when black people say something about that, in comes another black person to chastise that black person. When Snoop Dogg said to Gail King that he is coming after her, people like Susan Rice, they know damn well that he doesn't mean that he's coming with his crip game. He's going to do it in his little rap songs. Snoop Dogg, he had got checked by a woman. And he didn't know how to respond. So he responded with a half-ass apology. That's why really I've learned that you never say the first thing that comes to mind. Because usually... The first thing that comes to your mind is based off of emotions. You haven't put any thought into it yet. That's why you have to kind of pause, think about what you're going to say, and then say it. I mean, just like Gail King claims that, you know, she misspoke or whatever, her words were taken out of context, which we all still can't understand because you just kept asking the same damn question over and over. Why can't Snoop Dogg misspoke? He spoke on emotions. I mean, because you keep saying that they took your words out of context and we were listening to what you said and what you were asking. And it's like you wanted Lisa Leslie to say so bad that she don't like it because Kobe is getting all this praise and he raped a woman. That's what you wanted him to say. And I'm going to say this, all these women that they are parading around on the camera like Oprah and all, these are a bunch of gay women. They gay. They don't like men. They don't have no love for a man. A man only makes, you know, for whatever little purpose that they have a man around for, 
but it's not because they love a man. All these black women that have been saying all these things about Kobe Bryant, they are either gay or they have a white husband. It's one of the two. I have noticed that these black reporters in some type of way defend white people. That's all they do. And all they do is attack black people. And no, like I said, no one is never bringing up the, the background of this young lady, Caitlin Faber, if I may call her that. But no one is, is talking about her. And I keep telling a lot of these young men that go off to college and school, man, be very wary of these white girls. They're going to give it up real fast. But there's a price to pay for it. And every time I look up, these youngsters getting caught up, black boys, messing with these damn white girls. And in the end, the white girls end up with your money, and you end up broke. When these black athletes go to these white schools, the black girls can't get to them for the white girls. These presidents of the school are going to invite them. Over. They're going to take up their time and surround them with white people to where he can't even socialize at all with black people unless they're on the team. And someone keeps bringing up the fact that uh, Kobe married a uh, Hispanic lady. Well... Hispanics is a it's a language. That's not a people. You have black Hispanics and you have white Hispanics. They have a lot of European in them. You have ones that got African in them. So which Hispanic are you talking about? And like I say, man, I'm not really just a racist person like that now. And you have to look at Kobe Bryant, where he was raised up at. This man was raised up in Italy, overseas. Not many black girls around there, and so the man is going to date somebody, and who's available? The white girls. But he did uh, marry his, this lady he married, and I don't care what you say, she has more black features than she does uh, European. So I don't care if you do say she's Hispanic. In my view, she's black. This picture here of Caitlin Faber and Wes Dawson was taken shortly after she made these claims of rape. And like I say, everybody knows that this girl is nothing but a slut whore. When it comes to women that are sluts and whores, you cannot rape them because of the simple fact of you cannot rape the willing. After Corporal Brian messed around and had sex with that woman, she knew she was going to get paid. Went to the club, boy, and just parted her ass off. Now, here it is the day after Kobe Bryant has passed. People want to act like she was some kind of damn nun. And Kobe Bryant is just some type of sex freak. Kobe Bryant just made a bad mistake and had sex with the wrong woman. But after this threat that Snoop Dogg has received, I want to see how many people are just going to lay off this as well. Who's just going to shut the hell up because they're scared that Susan Rice might come up to their asses too. See, when things like this happen, this is what separates the men from the boys. I hate to say it, old Snoop Dogg. You just showed yourself to be a, a Snoop puppy. And I was just thinking another thing that this this is just merely a distraction from what's really happening around the world, man. Because, you know, you got this damn coronavirus deal and in Jamaica, they hey man, they not letting no Chinese up in there. So you have things happening around the world that you should be paying attention to. So the media here in America, they just know how to put certain things out that's going to get people's attention and make people react emotionally off of emotions. And so people have been really distracted by this Kobe Bryant situation. Not talking about the damn fake impeachment. 
We're not talking about the fake war over there in Iran. Some people just got killed. Some servicemen just got killed over here in Afghanistan. They're not talking about that. This damn disease or virus they have created called the coronavirus. How can you stop it? Can it be stopped? When they come up with a antidote, how much is that going to cost? Will it be worth its weight in gold? You know, what about the job situation here in America? If they keep letting immigrants in and everything has been automated, well, how will people take care of themselves? What type of jobs will they get? For those of you people that have rights in this country, because as a black person, I just don't really see this thing they talk about rights. Because every time a black person is involved with these things they call rights, they'll find something or some way to vote it down. So for all you people that do have these little rights, you don't realize that you are slowly losing your rights. And while you are focusing on keeping black people down, and keeping immigrants out. Your government has different plans for you. That is to exterminate you. Why are they letting all these damn immigrants over here? Why are they giving everything and the people over here in America are giving nothing? They're trying to kill us off? They're propping these immigrants up and they're taking these Americans down. People are not paying attention See what is really going on. And you are being hypnotized with television. Where are the real black men at? That is my question. Where are the real black men? Will they come out of hiding? When will they come out of hiding? Because all I see that has been propped up in front of these cameras are a bunch of boys. Just talking tough. But when they are met with opposition, they fold up. There's many things that Farrakhan said. How come nobody never threatens him? I mean, they they probably do. He gets these little death threats called, but they don't. They they, they don't they don't step out in the open and do it. They hide and do it. They want to come in as being anonymous. But they're not gonna just mess with Farrakhan like that because, like I say, the man got an army. He can talk his shit. And bag it up. But being a man is not about talking shit. It's about your actions. It is about your character. What type of male are you? And as I say, all I've been seeing lately is a bunch of boys. So when it comes to guys like Farrakhan, what they have to do with him is they'll just shut his channel down. Keep you from listening to him. But when it comes to buffoonery and coonery, they let you listen to that all day long. And you have to ask yourself, why? Because they want you to remain a damn buffoon and a coon. On one hand, you got Snoop Dogg trying to talk all this tough talk. And on the other hand, he got a show with Martha Stewart. Man, get the hell out of here. I mean, if you want to talk to a rapper, why come they don't never interview Professor Griff? They never interview him. Get somebody like Cornel West or somebody that I feel as if they really knows about what the hell they're talking about. Get somebody that is not going to be, you know, pushed off his square. You know, every time I see guys like Snoop Dogg, Kanye West getting their ass on the camera, I know it's a bunch of bullshit, man. Next thing you know, they be bringing Jay-Z's ass up. There's another thing about Snoop Dogg. He smoked the hell out of some weed. So he was probably full of that chronic when he made that statement. So you can't, you know, just take that seriously when a person is high. The first law of nature is self-preservation. So I can understand why Snoop Dogg made that apology. He didn't want that heat. But there are some people 
out here who don't mind that heat. Because they want to throw off a little heat themselves. So they will make those type of statements and will stand on it like Farrakhan. The next time Snoop Dogg or one of these rappers make a statement, don't put your army out on them. Remember, they were just high. Snoop Dogg, why did you make those type of statements about Gail King? Because I got high.